So that's the young bird loft for the sprint middle distance. And this is the, uh, the old bird loft, but we might change it next year. But they were stock lofts. Yeah. And uh, I had a friend, um, a good friend of mine, and he's taken over the stock loft. So. And how, how you will make it? Like this one? Sorry? We'll make like this one? How, how are you going to change it? Oh, what, the stock loft? I oh, know. Well, this, this loft here, no, no. I might change the um, old birds in that loft. Uh -huh. And the young ones in this loft, so, but eventually, but I mean, it's, it's an afterthought, really. Do you know what I mean? It's just a loft. Uh, so these are the hens for the sprint middle distance. So, you see, see, you'll see they're a lot bigger. Trying to find um, the sprint pigeons. Like, um, here you don't use balls. No, we don't use balls here, yeah, because, um, I don't know, I, I, I should do, I think, but I don't. Because uh, it's just, um, you can see the difference in, I'm trying to find the uh, spin pigeons, because they're much bigger. There we go. But the, these are the same system, they've been on youngsters, and maybe uh, earlier, about a week. They've been a week longer than... And these are sort of, um, this is kettle with pit bull. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's a really good one. Yeah. Well, I'll show you these are bigger. I think this one you will send to the France? Yeah. Middle distance. Is it what? Is it they what? Oh, no, it's nice. Oh, actually, that's, um, that is a sprint pigeon. It's black sprint, uh, white is uh, middle. Uh, Very nice one. Yeah, these, these are the more the... Uh, So these are middle distance. Come and down. So very soft. Yeah, I think they you know, hopefully in a couple of more weeks they'll be a little even better, hopefully, because they just So these are the hens anyway. In the section the hens fly and then the cocks are uh very nice. These are, um, <laughs> you'll see these, these are, these are the sprint pigeons there, you'll see the difference in size. Size are big. Yeah. Much bigger, much more powerful. Come on, boys. Big and strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of, sort of different types, but it all land the same, really. Come on, boys. These are difficult to beat you know, inland, up to 200, 300, you know. So. handle that heavy as well. They always handle heavy. Yeah. yeah, if you get them you think they're too heavy but they always they, they win well. It's strange isn't it? Strong one. Yeah yeah. This is a good pigeon actually. It's a grandson of kettle. Oh boy. Come on. He's a bit smaller but he's a good cock. So then we have the middle distance next door. They'd normally be locked away as well. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. But they'd, they'd be a bit smaller, you know? But more Vanderbilly based or um, Gino Clico or that kind of pigeon, you know? Yeah? Yeah, we've, we've got a lot, quite a few Genos and. Uh, Princes, and they some, uh, some, um, some Hoymans here somewhere, which are more like this type of pigeon. Oi! That's what the Yan 
Lions. So go ahead and sort of new out. So new alley, but you say. breed already with them, huh? Yeah, yeah. But to, these are a week in advance of them, though. So you, might, you can see a difference in uh, the, the conditions coming up a bit more on these. But hopefully they'll handle a little bit better in a couple more weeks as well. No, it does, does, does. And take this is from Hoymans from Harry. Yeah, yeah, from New Harry. Yeah. Son of New. It's, it's out of his son of Looks New like. Harry. Yeah. So these are uh, what's it called. You see, this loft's a bit colder in here, and uh, it takes a little while. You know, when the when the warm weather comes, they get better. Yeah. yeah so I'll go a little bit warmer, but it's better to be good in the season. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, I think um, hopefully they're not in bad condition anyway now. Very strong pigeons, huh? Yeah, yeah, they're quite big, yeah, but a different type. These are, well, my, my distance beams are tiny, you know? A lot of them yellows, different, absolutely completely different type, but, but they, can't, they can't beat these, at these up to you know, certain distances, you know? They're just too quick for them, but. Very nice. There we are, there we are. So as you've seen them all now. <laughs> Big team, as you can see. <laughs> Big pigeon, that is. Pendolin. This is a uh, pit bull. Size of him. I don't, I don't think when they come from five or six hours, they're tired. Yeah. They, they win, but they're winning really well, but they are, um, yeah, they're tired. This is a grandson of Kittle. Are your pigeons bigger or smaller than these? Or smaller. Smaller, yeah, yeah, a lot smaller, yeah. Yeah. I prefer, if, if it's longer, I'd much prefer smaller pigeons, you know. Most of them I sent to the long distance, yeah, 800, 900 yeah. kilometers. Yeah, yeah, well, they don't need to Nearly smaller, 1,000. Yeah. yeah, these wouldn't do that. Yeah. Right. But uh, I like it when they're so Yeah, so they're, sort of, they're good. They're, they are really good. We've enjoyed them in the uh, real short distance racing. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, um, depends on everything. But, yeah, they, they, they are good pigeons up in the real short races. So, let's see. This this one it's uh, made by uh, Claudio idea. Right. Yeah, my son. Your son. Yeah. yeah. He come from from a USA college. Oh, he did. Yeah. Cancel the school and say he want to do business. Right. And yeah. Come back in Romania. Right. And get involved in the in the company. Right. Fine. And uh, what is special? You will check to your birds. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. And you will see something. Right. So please uh, check it. Yeah. And then text me if yeah, it's we'll right do. or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The birds stay in the water more than usual right more and more than usual right fine. i don't know if you believe me but right, you will we'll find out because i'll use it like you may smell it hmm, sounds good yeah right. so what it's interesting on this uh bot side it's uh first of all has uh, some um, natural extract right. against parasites right yep it's very good if you have a massive infection with parasites yeah will not destroy them Right. You can be sure. Right. But in the season, you, uh, I, I want to put it in because in the season, using the chemicals for the uh, uh, parasites, yeah, and not get only benefits, uh, make even uh, bad things for the body because right. it's toxic. Yeah. So uh, for for normal infection of yep. parasites or only few, these natural uh, ingredients fix it. And right. the parasites didn't like it. But more of this, what we have inside, it's magnesium. Right. And magnesium, I think you know better than me. It helps the muscles, is it? Or yeah. 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 Recovery. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. 
Cristiano Ronaldo now it's in England yeah. in Manchester. <laughs> he do he do he but in, right. in magnesium yeah. after the the games. Yeah. And before the race, a calm uh, psychical effect on the, for the brain. Right. Magnesium. Right. And I didn't know it till we start to to think about the concept that the magnesium it's better uh, absorb. Right. By the skin. Yeah. Than by the mouth. Right. Fine. And you will see that's in, in, in unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll try it <coughs> definitely. Uh, We're racing this week, so I'll give them a bath. Just, just it. try it. Will do. Yeah, and see how, how the birds uh, yeah, re yeah. react on it. Yeah. Fine. We start to sell these products in end of January. Right. Yeah. It's already our top sales. Right. It's right. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Even yesterday in Epsom. Yeah. Every second client wants a butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh, because it. it's a lot of Romanians or people who follow my channel. Yeah, right? they they know uh, about it. Uh, yeah. So I think the magnesium from it it's very helpful for for the pigeons. Right. For so for myself, I like to to send the pigeons very calm. Yeah. To the to the uh, race. Race. Yeah. Yeah. Especially long distance race, if yeah. they are calm in the basket, I think it's an advantage. Right, no problem. Okay, well. This is the, the, the combination I use for preparation the race. Right, fine. Yeah, and what is here? It's a mix of nine oils. Yeah. 80% of this is distal oil. Right. Distal oil, I don't know if you use it or not. No. It's distal is very good for the liver. Right, fine. Yeah. yeah. And it's an emulsifier. That mean make the others oil, the rest of oils more liquid. Right. Yeah. And then we have a part uh, uh, oil oils extract for intestinal. Yeah. Like oregano, garlic, cinnamon. Right. And the part of the oils are for the respiratory. Right. Uh, eucalypt, uh, menthol, different things who help help the respiratory. Right. This is the purpose of the oil, the intestinal and the respiratory <coughs> help yeah. and increase the fats right, yeah. for the race. For the race yeah. yeah, and this one it's a mix uh, for preparation. Yeah, with uh, carbohydrates, vitamins, probiotics, minerals, propolis from bees. Yeah, a lot of uh, ingredients. Yes, plus uh, meseme. Meseme it's a natural extract from sulf. Who help? <coughs> in two ways, very good. It's anti-inflammatory. Right. The, yeah. The pigeons didn't feel the pain. Yeah. Yeah. But it's natural. Has nothing yes. to do with doping. Yeah. Yeah. And more than that, um, open, open the the membrane right. of the cells of the liver. Right. So the the oil, the yeah. distal oil, make the oils more uh, li li uh, emulsify uh, liquid, liquids. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the meseme increase the holes of the membranes. Right. And the cells may absorb more, more, more the more, oil. More easier because right, yeah. these go in the liver. Yeah. And liver, uh, how is the English word? Uh, from the liver go in the blood. It's a process right. Huh? Right, in, yeah. in the body. Right. So that's a complementary product. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this, this product <coughs> is, um, is this the Energy Plus, is it? or? Oh no, this is this fly is power. Yeah, fly power, it's for, for preparing the race. Right, fine. Yeah. I give one meal yeah. to two meals uh, before uh, short, middle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. At the beginning of season, maybe one. One, yeah. Not more. Yeah. When it's a little bit longer, two. Two, yeah. And uh, for the fawn, in yeah. marathon, three to four meals. No right, more. no more. Right, fine. One meal per day, I don't give uh, every day. Right, yeah. For myself. Right, I fine, okay. Give. I definitely try it. Definitely, the smell it's uh, uh, not so good. Right. Yeah, it's it's very uh, powerful smell of the oil. Yeah. Oh, holy! <laughs> that smell. Yeah, uh, the birds didn't like it at the beginning. Right. But the effect is very good. I like it very much. Yeah. Fine. Okay. I'll definitely try it. Definitely. We'll try some on it this <coughs> week. When, when I work with our uh, vet to, yep. to develop yep. the, <coughs> the recipe, right yeah, Irina, she's name. She's a very very top professional. Right. 
<clears throat> and she worked, by the way, for a company in, uh, for England. She produced uh, products for horse. Horse racing, yeah? Horse races. Right, yeah. fine, yeah. And we discussed a lot about uh, what I think I need. Yeah, pigeons. pigeons, yeah. That's, that's what the idea of the blue salt. Uh, when Claude would you say, let's have a salt for the bat? Yeah. I was thinking, okay, what I need from the bat? Yeah. I give a lot of bats to my pet. I don't know how you do it, but I give a lot of uh, bats to the pigeons. Right. Before yeah. the race, after the race. Yeah, we give them, um, we give them a bath quite a couple of times a week. Mm. But we, no we normally put some, um, a little bit of worm out um, into the bath to kill the fleas, but we try, we try that. It's, much, it's probably much better. And they don't like it when they, you know, when, when I put a little bit of worm into the bath yeah. or to kill the fleas, the pigeons don't like it. They don't want to go in the bath. So hopefully this, uh, your product to make it a lot easier uh, and um, kill the intestines and uh, they'll enjoy it more as well. Yeah, but in the meantime, I discussed that with, with our technician for, from the factory. Right. About the, the um, put it in the butt. Yeah. Um, there is some butt salts who have antiparasital yes. chemicals. Yes. Or there is solutions which we put in the, in the water. Yeah. And first you say, oh, that's impossible. The pigeons will drink and die. He said, right. no, 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 because we put lower dose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, you create a resistance to the parasites. Oh, right, and fine. I say, what oh. do you mean? When you give a lower dose, yeah, yeah, true. because you cannot put yeah. normal dose, yeah, yeah. the pigeons will drink and will die. Yeah. That's sure. Yeah. You create resistance to the parasites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I say, I never... No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Then yeah, it makes it does, a lot yeah. sense for me. Huh? Yeah. I say, uh, how you? Yeah. No, how you're how right. you say that? Yeah. No, no, no. Trust yeah. me, it's. Yeah, it will. What you have to do? Because first I ask him to put something chemical inside. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like usual. I say, yeah. no, 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 no. You cannot put. Why? You kill the pigeons. No, we don't kill the pigeons. No. We use. Yeah, so yeah, many. yeah. No, you have to put natural inside. Yeah. It's not s such powerful. Like the the, yeah, yeah. the chemical. Yeah. When you need the treatment, you have to use the right dose. Yeah. Get the pigeons put in yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Right, kill. fine. Yeah. But the rest, the the parasites, we don't like it for yeah. sure. The yeah. smell. The yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. They will not like to stay there. Yeah. yeah. Time to time, you have to do a treatment because yeah. it's a treatment. But for the rest, it's dangerous to do it with low doses. Yeah. You no, I create strong yeah. parasites. The, yeah, the parasites get like resistance to yeah. it and it won't kill it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, mm. That makes sense, actually, because uh, when I do use the product for a little while, then um, they do get resistant to it. But what we get, and everybody say, and we do some tests before and send to a lot of uh, top fanciers yeah. in, in yeah. our country and so on. First was... Unbelievable! The pigeons didn't want to go out. They yeah. fight to stay in the bath. Right, good. You will check. I will check Ma oh, this week. I will bath them before the first race. <laughs> see, let's see. I'm sure. It be good. And what we uh, use a lot? It's it's the yellow drops. I don't know if you use it or not. No, 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 no. I don't no. Is it is that for canker? Is it or yeah, yeah, canker and respiratory. Right, fine, okay. Yeah. And what what do you do with the yellow drops then? Yellow drops I put in the. I have uh, only few pigeons. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I put in the mouth yeah. or in the nose. Yeah. But in the meantime, you may put in the water. Right. One drop till two drops per pigeon. Right. Or on the food. Right. V. Mueller, for example, use yellow drops and put it in the food. Right. Uh, before the race. Right. Yeah. And, and then after the race. And then what does that do? <coughs> hmm? What does the yellow drops do? Yellow drops kill the canker. Yeah. And destroy the bacterial of. of uh, respiratory bacteria right here on, yeah. the, on the motor and the crop yeah and one more thing what is doing it's a uh, antiseptic right kill the candida right too. and uh, my vet say that when the pigeon has canker yeah even before we see it in the mouth uh, yeah the, the kind yeah. of yeah. Maze, uh, yeah in the crop in the skin of the crop yeah it's a lot of damages right yeah Thing, yeah, with the white inside of yeah. the crop. Oh, right, fine, okay. Yeah. yeah. Which are not, yeah, it's not healthy for sure. Right, right yeah. And this one uh, cure this, this. Uh, right, uh, the scarring. Yes, the from, from the crop, oh, yeah. from the crop skin. Yeah, yeah. right, fine.
I, I use a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Well, th this, yeah? Yeah. This product, yeah? Yeah. And right. our vet from, uh, we have uh, a partners in uh, in Portugal, Sara and Pedro. Right. Yes, she's a vet. Yeah. Too. And uh, she's one of the fan of, of this. This product. They, ha they race only hands. Right. 25 races per year. Yeah. In Portugal, they have long legs. Yeah, long yeah, distance. yeah. I'll try that. So, bit. I bring you only some, some, uh, Highlights. Right, fine. What the best Just products? to see it. Yeah, fine. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll try it. Definitely. Try the products and see what we uh, how we get on with them. You know, yeah, you do an energy product as well. I saw a red an energy. Yeah. And we uh, any energy products and um, it, I mean is that. I don't use energy. I use uh, this, this power. Right, fine. Okay. Yeah, for myself. Right. Yeah. Sometimes I use the energy for for recovery. Right. Yeah. But in the meantime. I saw here, do you have a yeah, uh, animal broken? Yeah. 